looking for someone. Who? Uh, uh, well, it's it's a girl. Does she have a name? This girl, she has a name. Um, well, what is it? Uh, she's, she's got a couple. It's complicated. Oh, is it one of those hyphenated ones? Because I totally understand. I mean, I've had a few names myself. <laughs> no, it's not hyphenated. Then what is it? Well, here. Maybe I'll show you a picture. Maybe you've seen her. Oh, I was afraid it was her. Yes, she, she was here. She was? Yeah, you know, that's the funny thing about names. Because, you know, she said her name was Gigi Morasco and that she lived here. But I know that's not true because... Well, I went and I asked my niece, and she said that Gigi Morasco was dead. So, so this girl, she has to be confused, right? I mean, I mean, wouldn't that be funny, two Gigi Morascos in the same little town? Oh, she's confused, all right. So do you know where she went? Oh, you mean the dead girl? Well, well I told her to wait. Okay, because, you know, this is my sister's house, and she sometimes takes in strays, so I didn't know who I was living here, so I went in the library to talk to my niece, and then she told me that Gigi Morasco is buried in St. James Cemetery. St. James Cemetery. So do you think she overheard your conversation? Maybe. I mean, she wasn't here when I got back. She left. Yeah, which I thought wasn't very polite of her. You know, and where are you going? Thank you, whoever you are. Oh, and I wasn't here. <laughs> It's me. That's not possible. It's not like I can afford it. I'm, I'm, I'm one ice cream cone away from living in a homeless shelter. All of that will be straightened out. How? Victor took everything from me. He took my money, my investments, my newspaper, and he gave it all to Irene. Irene is dead. So I guess everything belongs to me. I'm sorry, I couldn't help but overhearing, but uh, if Victor's will holds and uh, my mother's will holds, then everything goes to me. Talk about a holdup. What? I'm your daughter. I'm her son. Okay, so we can go to Habsies. We're going to Habsies. We do want anything. Oh, here we go. It is my money. Give it to Victor me. Lord Sr. left it to me. It is all mine. Uh, you know, you've got to teach him to share. Not my job. Victor Lord Jr. had no right to take that money from me, much less give it to Irene. Uh, Okay, you have a point there, but since you were declared legally dead... Do I look dead? You could use a little color. I'm not dead. So all of this is, is, is fruit of the poisonous tree. No, oh, that's rules of evidence. And the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's genetics. Victor Lord left the money to me, and I'm still alive. Anything based on me being dead is, 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 help me out here, null and void. Did I get that right? No, that's for a judge to decide. Yeah, and since I am every bit as much Victor's child as you are... Then I have a case, right? You have a case of the stupids. Wait, you just called me stupid. Stop it, stop it. Stupid. We're going to let the lawyers decide this. Really? Are you serious? I'm serious. What? I'm not taking sides. No, and none of us are, all right? We are one big, happy family. And we need to stick together, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Ooh. So greedy. I'm not. Are too. Oh, oh. Scott, I have a wedding to plan. Greedy. This is all your fault. 